Their cries resonate across the forest. There are some 17,000 wild chimpanzees living in Guinea, by far the largest population in West Africa. They are encountering humans more and more often as they venture closer to villages, and at times those encounters turn violent. This four-year-old girl is one of the latest victims to fall prey to the apes. Attacked and injured, as she played in this field. My son called me to tell me a chimpanzee had taken the baby, and I started shouting, my baby, my baby. The animal let her go, but only after having first bit her and scratched her across her face. I don't know where the chimpanzee came from, but I chased it down to get my daughter back. The attack traumatised the entire community. The village elders called a meeting. They decreed that children are no longer allowed out unsupervised. The children are afraid to go work in the fields. The cries of the chimps terrify them. When we leave the village, we lock them up at home. Our fields, animals and kids are regularly attacked. We don't even send students to school anymore. We're really afraid. Locals have cut down the forest to make way for farming, and that leaves less space and resources for the chimpanzees. The chimp attacks are a direct result of deforestation, as the apes are forced out of the forest and towards lands populated by people. To avoid violence, park rangers patrol constantly, ensuring no humans are hurt and no animal is illegally killed. It's a protected species. We're not allowed to kill them. That's why we're here day and night. It's to avoid confrontations and clashes between man and animal. One flashpoint is areas where this fruit grows in abundance. The chimps love them, but unfortunately so do people. Locals have started picking them to sell at food markets. Attacks continue and the rangers say they don't have the resources to prevent future clashes. To be able to keep track of 600 states on foot, <laughs> it's impossible, we can't. We only have one GPS for the entire team, for four forests. Regional authorities say there's only one way to solve the ongoing clashes with the animals but it's a solution that may not be palatable for those whose jobs depend on extracting value from the land. Humans must abandon waterholes in the bush and give up on commercializing wild forest and illegal logging. Trees are the chimps' habitat. If we do this, it will be easy to live peacefully alongside apes. Advice that isn't being followed. In the middle of the chimps' forest is this, the construction of a road which will further encroach on their habitats. Chimpanzees are endangered and their numbers in Guinea are falling. <laughs>